Hey, what's up everyone? So I wanted to create this video because someone asked me, how do they go to the Maldives? Uh, what should they do and, and you know, how much would it cost? Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm actually creating it also for my brother. So my brother wants to go for his birthday next year to the Maldives. And he's like, I know, Ronnie, you didn't pay full price. So show me how to do that. Well, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show him and I'm going to show everyone in the group. Now, these are the type of videos that I create with Tricks to Travel, except they're a little more detailed and it's not as long because I'm actually pinpointing each video. So all our videos are a little less than 15 minutes long, but it's detailed just like this is. So all I did was I brought up the Conrad Maldives just to kind of show you some of the pictures, the underwater restaurant that they have there and so forth. So Sheba and I stayed here in April 2016 for our anniversary as well as uh, her birthday. So let me show you what I've done is I've opened up two browsers. One browser is Internet Explorer showing you the out-of-pocket price and then the other browser is going to be the Chrome browser where I'm actually going to show you what Shiva and I did. So first things first, the dates, my brother's birthday is August the 27th. So what I did was I looked at Friday the 21st and I went until the 29th. Actually, I need to go to the 30th here. And the reason why the 30th is a Sunday. Now it takes two days to get to the Maldives. So if he leaves on the 21st, as you can see, he's not going to arrive until the 23rd. So I did the, for the flight wise, I'm doing the 21st to the 30th, but his room will be the 23rd to the 30th for, for seven days. Now, you don't have to go to the Maldives for seven days, but I know my brother says, I want to go for a week because he's going that far. So let's just look at the price. This is out of pocket. Now, mind you, there, are there Deal, deals sometimes you can find in the Maldives, yeah, but you got to buy them when they want you to buy them. So if you want to go when you want to go, this is what I'm showing you is when you want to go, particularly the dates you want to go. So these would be the actual dates my brother would want to go next year. So the 21st is a Friday and he would fly home on a Sunday. Now look, it takes 46 hours, 44 hours. So 44 hours is the cheaper rate. $3,649. That is per person, people. So I'm going to click on that Friday, right? Remember, you leave on the 21st, you arrive on the 23rd. This is showing you out of pocket. If you are getting married, I tell anybody who's getting married, you should never pay for your honeymoon if you're paying for your wedding. If you're paying out of pocket for your wedding, your honeymoon should be essentially free. And I say essentially free because Tricks of Travel doesn't show you how to go for free. Well, listen, essentially free because... Yes, I can show you how to stay for free, but a lot of times you have to pay the taxes for the flight. That's why I say essentially free, people. So New York to Male, uh, EWR actually pops up, which is Newark. So United's hub is actually in Newark. So look at this, 3042 So the cheapest rate here, let me scroll down for the 30th coming home, is this 3649 So we've got to choose that one here. So that's uh, 24 hours coming back. That's actually not bad coming back. So you leave on the 30th. You actually don't get back though until the 31st. Just want to look at the total price here so you can see firsthand. Video's a little longer because I'm literally showing you off the cusp. It will cost you $36.50 pretty much per person wants me to sign in. I don't want to do that. Almost $3,700. $3,700 per person to go to the Maldives. This is why people get the tear. They're like, oh my God, it's a, it's a bucket list place that I'll go. Well, I'm going to show you how everybody can go. So the 21st to the 30th, right, $3,700. Now let's look at the Hilton. Now the reason why I'm looking at the Hilton is because, uh, yes, I'm Team Hilton, and also this is where we actually stayed. I'm not teaching you something I didn't do myself. So there are three resorts. Now when Sheba and I went, there were not three resorts. It was actually only the Conrad. So the Conrad is the second uh, second highest, shall we say. So we're going to click on that. That is four fifty six dollars per night, people. And that's the triple A rate. So that's if you have triple A. So if you don't have triple A, it would be actually a little more expensive. So four fifty six dollars a night. Let's just see what it looks like. So if you're going to go to the Maldives, right, you want to do what? An overwater bungalow. Well, I can tell you right now that four fifty six dollars is not for an overwater bungalow. Let's let it pop up, populate here. Take us some time. All right, so here we go. Here's the different rates. So the beach villa is four fifty six a night. Yeah, it's a nice villa because she and I actually stayed the first three nights in there. You know, before uh, we had this little hookup, I'll show you uh, in the next screen where they're doing a deal right now, a promo, especially in August. So four fifty six a night for the beach villa. For the overwater bungalow, it would cost my brother five seventy a night. So of course he wants the overwater bungalow as he should. You're going to spend that money or you're going to go that far, you might as well do the overwater bungalow. Now, five seventy dollars a night, $5,000 for a week's stay. So let's get this right. 
you have $3,700 per person, $3,700 per person and $5,000 for the week stay. That's out of pocket. Now, let me show you what Sheba and I did. Now, I'm going to go back to, so this is uh, Sheep and I. This is our Maldives. You can go to road200countries.com forward slash Maldives, and you can see our trip to the Maldives. These are our pictures. That was our villa, as you can see there. That's the overwater bungalow. So let me go ahead and go to United. I've signed into United, so you can see in miles. So I've already actually populated it before. Let me click back one. Let me hit revise so you can see it offhand. So remember, it takes two days to get there. So the 21st, we would leave, and he would arrive on the 23rd. I just want to show you. I know it showed it there, but I want to show you straight up how to do it. So we searched through miles. The 21st to the 29th, award travel, right? And we put in NY. NYC gives you Newark and New York. It would be 42,500 miles one way and $11.20 in taxes. Yes, you're looking like, hey, I could go for 560. You could, but we're just going to leave it at Friday, right, for the dates that we chose. And we're going to choose Friday the 21st leaving, departing. Remember, you don't arrive until the 23rd. And I believe it's actually a shorter flight. Remember that first flight out of pocket was like 44 thousand miles i mean 44 hours so look at this 32 hours click on that 42,500 miles one way united shows you one way so that's one way going coming back uh, we're going to come back on the 30th here so let me go ahead and put the 30th i think i put it before and it's 42,500 miles and 82 dollars and 35 cents in taxes so let's find that one and look it's 27 hours back go ahead and click on there so it's going to cost you Right. Let's see what it says in the total. It's going to cost you a total of 85,000 miles per person. Give it a second. Scroll up here so we can see the, the total in taxes because this is the essentially free. You do have to pay the taxes for the flight. I swear, people are like, you, you don't go completely free. It's essentially free, people. Essentially free. So it will cost you 85,000 miles and $93.55 per person to fly for essentially free to the Maldives. Now, let's look at the Hilton stay. Now, I've already logged in, right? As you can see, yes, I got 2.6 million points, but I chose the 23rd to the 30th. Why? Because remember, the itinerary, you don't arrive until the 23rd. So for our stay, we're going to do the 23rd to the 30th. Now, the second highest rate is the Conrad Maldives. Now, I like the Conrad Maldives because that's where I, we stayed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, the great thing about the Maldives right now at this property is that I it I saw I saw this when I was telling my brother is that they are charging you the same amount. Look at this. The beach villa is five hundred and seventy thousand points and the water villa is five hundred and seventy thousand points. That is not normal people. That is not normal. So obviously we're gonna go with the water villa, the overwater bungalow. So let's go ahead and click on that. 570,000 points. That is from the 23rd to the 30th. Now it's going to populate real quick. This is if you want to do points of money. We're not doing no money. All points. 570,000. So let me show you the price details here. So look at this. Fifth night free. So you can see the fifth night is free. So if you stay 10, it would be two nights. So it's 570,000 points, 85,000 miles, and 90, pretty much $94 in taxes. $94 in taxes per person, 85,000 miles, and 570,000 points to stay. That is what? Much, much cheaper than paying $5,000 to stay. And let me close that. Thirty-seven, Almost $3,700 per person to fly. You see why we work the points and miles system, people? Now, somebody, somebody negative Nancy is going to say, well, how do you get 570,000 points? Well, that's the thing. In our Tricks to Travel course, which I beat in your head all the time, it's not. I'm not beating it in your head because I want you to just buy it. Well, partially. I want you to buy it somewhat. But I also want you to get it. Here's why. We have 56 videos and it's less than a dollar a video. $49.99. And we literally teach you step by step how to work the points of mile system. We show you how Sheep and I do it. Uh, all the videos are less than 15 minutes each and we tell you pinpoint 
detail, step by step, exactly how to book, how to how to how to get more points, how to get more miles, how to get 85,000 miles. We show you how to do that. Now, we don't tell you that there's any one particular card you have to get. What we do is we show you how we did it. We show you how to work those cards and you choose those cards. I people ask me all the time, "Well, what's the best card?" There is no best card. It's the best card that works for you. Which one will work for you the best is which you, which you really should be asking. So, for example, if you live in the New York area, well, United is great because United's hub is IAD, but also Delta. Delta's hub is JFK. JetBlue's hub is JFK. So it depends on where you live. That comes down to the actual cards. It, it, it just depends. There is no one best card. But what I will tell you is I'll show you how to work the system. That is the one thing she and I will show you how to do. We did not get to 108 countries pretty much paying out of pocket. We have not paid for a hotel in six years now. And our flights, we paid about 40% of our flights. And some of the things I'll tell you with the flights, like for example, this type of flight, of course, $5,000 flight, we're going to, with $3,700, excuse me, $3,700 flight, yeah, we're going to definitely use our miles for this. But there's some times where the flight is cheaper. Let's say that if the flight is less than $650, we'll pay out of pocket. We're not going to use our miles for a flight that's $650. What we want to use our miles for is when it's like this, $3,600. Of course, we're going to use our miles. Hello, which one is better? So anyhow, that's going to conclude our video. I just wanted to show you how you can get to the Maldives. If you are getting married and you want to go here for your honeymoon, you should not pay for your honeymoon. I uh, show you in the videos, Tricks to Travel videos, we teach you how to work the system, how to, and, and people say, well, you got to use the card. You got to spend on the card. Listen, your everyday spending. When I, one of the videos, I teach you how to get 560,000 points at Hilton in six months or less. Six months or less. 560,000 points. And with the spending included, that is your one week stay here at the Maldives in the Overwater Bungalow. All right, that's going to conclude the video. I'm going to drop some links uh, down below on you know which cards that I use to get these two particular items, which is the United card and the Hilton cards. If you have any questions, throw those comments below. Thank you.